called the Desert Hawk EER, which stands for Extended Range and Endurance. And as you can see, it's much bigger wing, it's got a bigger motor, and it was developed for fuel cell technology. This is all electric. This one can be electric or fuel cell powered. Uh, so it's about 90 minutes endurance on this one and up to eight hours on this one without refueling. And I say refueling, that's you know electrical power. Uh, this aircraft here, service ceiling of about 17,000 feet, 4 foot wing, weighs 8 pounds, uh, hand launched, they're both hand launched, they've got up link, down link, we're going to do a flight demo on the smaller one today. This aircraft here, it's got an 8 foot, or a 12 foot wing, excuse me, uh, it's also hand launched, about 20 pounds. This one can carry multiple payloads. These are ISR payloads, camera based. Um, this can carry one at a time, an EO or an IR. This we've done a lot of experimenting with. We can put a lot of different things on it. We can both tolerate about 25 knot winds. Uh, this one cruises at about 32 miles an hour. This one cruises about 15 meters a second. You know, roughly the same, a little bit slower. Uh, very similar from an operational standpoint to a full-size small aircraft when you're at a ground control station. You've got a situational awareness view. Um, they do not need to be flown hands-on or constantly manipulated. Uh, we basically set up a, a flight plan. It can be edited in flight, but you generally plan what you want to do, program a mission, download the mission to the aircraft, and launch it. And we can sit there and fold our arms and watch it go or we can manipulate it and send it different places and do what we want. And if needed, you can intervene and fly it manually to some extent, but it's through the autopilot. So give it a command, the autopilot will recognize your command and still kind of fly by wire, fly it. Uh, it's a skid landing. It lands right on the belly. And they are designed to break apart on landing. So when it lands, if you see it, Kind of blow up into a bunch of pieces. That's intentional. It didn't break. But Emily likes to redeem herself. AV secure? Oh, we'll see if we can get it off. AV is secure. I got it first try. It's just a slick of the wrist. Turn check. Oh, cool. That's good. That's the camera on the bottom. Once it's in flight, we extend it. Squares up. Oh. Down. Neutral. GPS is good. Right wing down. Shield peel. Shielded. That looks good. Plug it. Plug. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Released. Looks good. Download it. So this is where we download the mission to the vehicle. This map is just a map of this area. It's on this ground control station. All the red or blue circles and red dots, that's the mission that I've already loaded in here. To fly. And this whole ground station can be powered off this battery, which is the same battery that powers the air vehicle. But since we fly up here all the time, we have shore power and we can use generator power if yeah. we'd like to. Right wing down, shield pedal. Shield. Yeah. Jerk shield? Oh, right. Yeah, you're pulling your arm off. Yeah, it's a tough job. You gotta watch into the yeah. wings. Oh, well, Arming. Arming! Here we go. Keep your eyes on it. How's that? Well done. Throwing darts. Yeah. There you go. So quiet.
tail pops off. Hey, load. This is just a dummy. That's why you don't actually see a camera on it. All the avionics are under this cover. Desert Hawk.